The Iglesia Ni Cristo, or Church of Christ, believes that its establishment in 1914 is not a coincidence, but a fulfillment of biblical prophecies. According to INC teachings, various passages in the Bible foretell the rise of a true church in the last days, and they view their reemergence as a direct realization of those prophecies. Rooted in scripture, the INC identifies itself as the restored church, tasked with continuing the mission set by Christ and his apostles after a period of apostasy following the first century. Key biblical prophecies from books like Isaiah, Revelation, and Acts are often cited as foundational to the INC's belief that the restoration of the church was ordained by God. Verses that mention the gathering of people from the East and references to God's chosen are understood by the INC to describe the birth of their movement in the Philippines and their global expansion. The Iglesia Ni Cristo believes that its reestablishment in 1914 is directly connected to the fulfillment of several biblical prophecies. The church teaches that various passages in the Bible foretell the rise of a true church in the last days, and that these prophecies point to the INC as the restored church, Church of Christ. Key Biblical Prophecies and Their Connection to the INC 1. Isaiah 43, verse 5 to 6. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. The INC believes that this prophecy refers to the gathering of God's people from the east, which they interpret as the Philippines, where the church was restored in 1914. The offspring from the east refers to the re-establishment of the true church in the far east, and from there it would expand globally. 2. Isaiah 41, 9-10 you whom I took from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest corners, saying to you, You are my servant, I have chosen you, and not cast you off. The INC teaches that this verse pertains to God choosing Brother Felix Y. Manalo as his messenger in the last days. The reference to the ends of the earth is seen as a metaphor for the last days, and from its farthest corners is understood as a reference to the Far East, where the church was reestablished. 3. Revelation 7, 2-3 Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. In interpretation, INC teaches that the angel mentioned in this verse is symbolic of Brother Felix Y. Manalo, the messenger chosen by God to restore the true church. The east is interpreted to mean the Philippines, and the seal refers to the mark of God's people, which the INC believes is manifested through membership in the church. 4. John 10, 16. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The INC understands this verse as referring to those who will be gathered into the restored Church of Christ in the last days. They believe they are the other sheep being called into the one true flock. 5. Matthew 24, 6 8. This passage refers to wars and calamities in the last days as signs of the end times. Ink interpretation. The INC views the timing of its establishment in 1914 as significant because it coincides with the outbreak of World War I. The church teaches that this global conflict marks the beginning of the fulfillment of these last days prophecies, aligning with the church's mission to preach the gospel before the return of Christ. 6. Isaiah 46, 11, calling a bird of prey from the east, the man of my counsel from a far country. The INCNC interprets the bird of prey as a metaphor for brother Felix Y. Manalo, called by God from the east, the Philippines, to restore the true faith. 
the far country is believed to symbolize the distance from where the true church was reestablished. Seven, Acts 2.39. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. The far off is interpreted as a reference to the people in distant lands who would be called into the church in the last days. INC believes that its global mission is the fulfillment of this prophecy, gathering people from all nations into the true church. The Iglesia Ni Cristo teaches that its reestablishment in 1914 fulfills several biblical prophecies, particularly those that speak of God's people being gathered from the East in the last days. The INC interprets these prophecies as evidence that Brother Felix Y. Manalo was chosen as God's last messenger and that the INC is the true Church of Christ, restored in preparation for Christ's second coming. Through these interpretations, the INC sees it itself as playing a central role in the fulfillment of God's plan for salvation in the final days. Uh, trivia. Did you know that the Iglesia Ni Cristo, INC, interprets its establishment in 1914 as a fulfillment of Isaiah 43, verse 5 to 6, which speaks of a gathering from the East? For INC members, this prophecy is significant as it points to the reemergence of the true Church of Christ in the Philippines, marking the beginning of its global mission. This interpretation is central to their belief that the INC is the church restored in the last days, preparing the world for the second coming of Christ. Music